Today I'm going to be showing you what's called iTunes. I'll explain how to use iTunes and where you can purchase apps. Today we're going to be using the iPad 2. Uh, the computer is something that we've already set this up on, so now I'm going to be explaining how you do this on your iPad 2. There's two different options. You can use the App Store or you can use iTunes. The App Store, for example, you can purchase games or regular applications iTunes has more options, such as movies, TV shows, music. I will go ahead and show you both ways that you can use either the App Store or iTunes. You want to go into Store. Now you'll notice where you can sign in. You've already registered, so you can go ahead and click on Existing Apple ID. Go ahead, type in your information. Now you'll notice where it says Apple ID. You can go ahead and, oh wait, there's one more thing I forgot to show you. You'll notice here where it says Music and Apps, and your setting is off. Go ahead and click on. This means that it will automatically download new features onto other devices. Now we'll go ahead and go into the App Store. You'll notice at the top here, where it says what's hot, this means what the most popular downloads are, and the next you'll see release date, meaning what has just been currently released or what will soon be released. At the bottom you'll notice where it says categories. And we'll go ahead and click on categories. And here you can just see a general list of the different options you have. And also at the bottom here you'll notice where it says updates. Usually you'll see a number one, two, or three. This is indicating how many current updates you need. All of the music and TV shows and movies, this will be found in a different section. This will be located in iTunes. As you can see, they have a similar look, but different options. We have movies at the bottom, TV shows, podcasts, hopefully this has been helpful information for you guys today. Thank you.